And again, we are following that breaking news this morning. Right now, divers are looking into the Columbia River for possible people in the water. Our Brent Weisberg joins us live with all the details. Brent, you've been out there all morning. Do we have a clearer picture yet? We want to show you what's actually happening right behind me. You can see dive teams are starting to pull this vehicle out of the water right now. It is kind of leaning up against the embankment. There is a, uh, a metal wire that is attached to a tow truck, which is out of view from where we are right now. We understand that they are going to be trying to pull up this vehicle to try to see if there was anyone inside. Uh, this appears to be an SUV of some type. We're not sure exactly the make and model, but this all started around 2.15 this morning when witnesses saw this vehicle racing down this roadway here in North Portland and then crashed through a fence and went down the embankment. We have some video of that. We're going to keep an eye on this, but I also want to bring in uh, Lieutenant Mary, or excuse me, Captain Mary Lindstrand with the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office. Mary, tell us a little bit about what is happening right now. Right now, the dive team and a tow company are pulling the car up. We don't know if anyone is in the car. We're waiting to find that out. In terms of the divers, what was their responsibility when they came out here with the report of that this man may have been swimming and trying to hide from firefighters? Well, it was rescue is the first thing they were trying to do. His status and where he's located right now is unknown. What are the challenges that you guys have with this type of operation? Well, anytime you're underwater, it's dangerous. They had to shut off electricity to ensure safety of the divers. In terms of how long this is going to be, do you have any idea of when the vehicle will actually be pulled out and what the divers are going to do after that? Um, well, it'll be an ongoing investigation, and hopefully in the next little bit, the water, um, will, the area will be clear from the vehicle. All right, Mary, thank you very much for your time. I know we're going to continue to see, watch this vehicle down here. You can see it again. It looks like an SUV, and it looks like some of the windows are broken out in the back, so we're not sure that is what they're going to have to do. They're going to look inside the vehicle to see if there were any other passengers inside this vehicle. This happened around 2.15 this morning. Witnesses first told firefighters that the person was swimming around, and when firefighters and Portland police tried to get the man out of the water, he apparently was starting to swim away and at one point actually swam under one of these uh, homes that are floating here along the Columbia River. And divers were trying to, now as you heard uh, the captain say, they were trying to get him, rescue him, to get him the help, obviously, that he may need. Uh, suffering from some sort of injuries, we have to presume, after plummeting down this embankment here. Uh, but again, divers have since hooked up a winch to the back of this SUV, and they are going to be in the process in the next uh, couple of minutes here, pulling this vehicle out. We're going to be here, and we will continue to monitor this scene and update you as things unfold. Reporting live in North Portland, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin 6 News. All right, thank you, Brent. Those details just keep developing. Well, it has been a busy morning for firefighters around.